Welcome and thank you for your time. We just wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about a new podcast series we're launching, which will be um, a series of, of conversations um, over the next few months. And I've got Ian here to share with me just his heart on why these conversations, why are we launching a new podcast? Ian, what's your heart about the conversations? Well, I think for me, Reinhardt, um, the whole thought process started really with the murder of George Floyd. Um, because that was a shocking mm. event. Um, but one of the things I was really stirred by was the way it played out in church life, because mm. we've always been a, a church for all nations, and uh, we include, seek to include all nations. Yeah. But actually, when one um, people group was really hurt mm. and injured in that, it felt like we didn't know actually where everyone else stood or how to deal with that. Yeah. And I realised that actually we'd never had a conversation about race issues mm. and how um, you can be a church for all nations and understand one another's heritage and perspective. Yeah. And I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we had a series of conversations where we looked at what could be challenging issues, and I guess in society are yeah. challenging issues, but had a conversation between different members of Restore just to bring their perspective and just to uh, share hearts on different issues. And so the thought was, why don't we have uh, multiple conversations on a number of those issues and just see what God does through them? So just you mentioned quite a few things in there. I think the first thing is it's, it's not all race conversation. So it's different topics that could potentially be contentious. That's right. And I think a part of your heart in the planning of this was the, the frustration of a lot of this not being a dialogue, a conversation, yeah. more being a monologue or you know, a few posts on Facebook or Instagram. So it's really to, to ignite something of a conversation, ignite some, something of a dialogue to a certain extent. Is that right? Yeah, no, that's right. I, I think sometimes we kind of give trite answers and there's a lot of issues that actually we need to be prepared to wrestle with and also say, what does the Bible really say about that? And how um, should we really be living with that issue? So I'll give you some examples. You know, we're going to have a conversation yeah. around race and yeah. maybe we'll end up having a number of conversations because you can't do it all in, in one go. But you can, take, you, you can begin something. But we're also going to look at the place of women. You know, we've yeah. had the whole Me Too movement. Yeah. And what does that mean with the church? Because for years, centuries, the church has actually uh, disqualified women from ministry. Yeah. And so how do we actually live the way that Jesus taught us to be, what did Jesus say about the role of women and what, what's the implications of that mm. for us as a church? Mm. Take another issue, let's think about integrity. Yeah. You know, at the moment um, we have politicians that are lying yeah. to us, are caught out lying yeah. and still yeah. do not resign. Is that okay? Is that a godly leadership? How have we got there and how should we as the mm. church respond to that? And another one, yeah just to pick another biggie, but sexuality, yeah. homosexuality. That's, for me, yep. the church has done such a bad job. Mm. And you ask the average person, you know, uh, what's the church's stand about homosexuality? Yep. And everyone will say, virtually everyone, I think, will say, we're homophobic. Is that the way of Jesus? Mm. What does the Bible really say around sexuality? And like you're saying, there's not a simple answer, yeah. but I believe that we have a credible faith mm. that has something to speak into these issues. Yeah. But what we need to do is, is be willing to ask the difficult questions, have the conversations. We won't agree with all the opinions shared. Yeah. Um, and, and just because somebody says something doesn't mean this is restore stance on it. Yeah. But I do believe that we have intelligent answers yeah. and godly wisdom to bring. And I want us to wrestle with some of those mm. issues yeah. to help develop our understanding and for us to apply our faith and think, this is what I really believe on this issue, mm. and this is what I believe God is saying and has put in my heart yeah. through this issue. And it's a forum to be able to have those kind of discussions and conversations. So some of the conversations, just maybe to clarify, it's not just high-level conversations. It's also conversations about the average person, which we are. We are actually just average yeah. people, um, and how integrity in the workplace mm. should what we see in uh, in the politics actually the integrity and in, and in, and having integrity in leadership should play out in my places of work or my positions of leadership is that correct absolutely because the reality is 
we all have our own story to tell. Yeah. You know, we don't want to talk just high level racism. Yeah. We, we actually have people in the congregation who have had personal experiences of feeling marginalized or abused mm. because of their race. Um, we all grapple with, um, am I honest in my everyday life? Is a little white lie okay or isn't it? Mm. So no, we, we, we uh, want to um, pick up on some of the issues that we see out there in society at large, yeah. but we need to apply it down to, what does that mean for me? Yeah. What does that mean for the life of Restore? What does that mean for the way that I apply my faith and seek to live it out? So it's very grassroots. Yeah. So we, in maybe just in my words and understanding, we're trying to stimulate conversation in terms of some of the, 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 the podcasts that we're releasing, some of the conversations we're releasing. And I think just to highlight again, because that was quite important what you were saying, is it's not just, you know, a Ian, a Jody, a Raina Tobias having these conversations. I think to a large extent, um, our online team and our hosts like Emma King, which we are really thankful for, um, they are facilitating these conversations with people in the congregation and potentially some people, not even in Restore, but people who do share, um, you know, a faith in Jesus uh, to, so that we can hear what is reflected in the larger body. That's exactly right, Reynard. And, and we've called it a conversation because we want it to be a conversation and a mm. conversation has the ability to dialogue. Yeah. And so in many ways, the conversation that you listen to or watch is still a discussion starter. So we want people to be able to share their feedback, share their perspective. Mm. And we've only filmed so far the first couple. And it may be that even one of the issues I've talked about, you know, you might be watching this thinking, I've got something I'd like to speak into that. Yeah. Contact us, let us know, be part of the discussion. Yeah. As I say, we're not asking everyone to agree, but what we are asking for is sensible, intelligent mm. conversations mm. around some key issues that I believe are an important part of our discipleship. Yeah, and I think especially that last part um, with what you were saying, an important part of our discipleship, that, that's the heart at the end of the day for Absolutely. all of us to say, you know, we are busy with the book of Mark for just this year, but our heart and restore is to walk with Jesus every day, isn't it? Mm. Um, and to see restoration everywhere and to mm. welcome everyone, to find out what it means to live like Jesus mm. and to, to love people mm. like Jesus have done. And we're hoping that this will stimulate conversation within the congregation, but even mm. within the lives of, you know, you and me, hmm. um, everybody, to really walk and live like Jesus hmm. did. So it's not necessarily conclusions. I think that's that's important to yeah. say. It's not yeah. it's not conclusions. We're saying, what do we see in Scripture? Hmm. How can we journey with it? How hmm. can we ask the Holy Spirit to break hmm. open a truth for us and work on establishing those truths in our lives? Well, I, and that's right, um, Reynard. The thing is. You're talking about, you know, what we see in Scripture, but what you see in Scripture and what I see in Scripture mm. might be different, mm. and that's okay. Disagreement, a different perspective yeah. is okay. We can live together in unity yeah. and harmony, and we can appreciate where one another's mm. coming from, and we can learn from the different yeah, perspectives. I, I think sometimes in church we think, you know, the right answer is Jesus, and Jesus is the answer <laughs> to everybody, <laughs> and, and, and everything, and we won't take it any deeper than that. Yeah. But actually good, healthy, yeah. constructive mm. um, debate and appreciating other perspectives enables mm. us to grow in our understanding. And often, you know, I think differently about some issues now to what I did when I first became mm. a Christian, because I've learned partly through the lessons of life, but also partly through rubbing shoulders with other people that have yeah. challenged some of my thinking, yeah. which is the whole thing about, I, I think we all learn mm. when we're willing to um, grapple with some of the things that we don't find easy and straightforward. Mm, mm. We shouldn't fear some of these conversations and yeah. some of these um, issues. We should be equipped mm. and we should have a thought through approach yeah. if we're going to speak into them. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm very excited. I think these are fabulous first steps because for us it is a new venture. We're mm. stepping out and we're mm. going to definitely learn as we go on. Mm. Um, and like you said, I, th I think our heart and our prayer for these conversations is, is that it will stir faith, yep. it will stir robust conversation, um, but also that it will bring and add to the unity of the church and the unity of the body, isn't Abs it? Absolutely. Um, and may we see that fruit um, as, we, as we start engaging these conversations. Mm. 
So we'll be releasing a new conversation. Well, we're aiming to release a new conversation every month. Um, and you will find that on the various platforms, the Restore Community Church app, the website. We will be posting it onto our social media pages, YouTube. We've got a Vimeo account as well, if you haven't noticed that yet. So it will also be in the mailer. So if you're on our communication, you will receive it. Um, if you're not on our communication and you by any chance stumbled upon this video, please subscribe to our channels so that we can make sure that we include you in this. It's not only video, there will also be audio options. So thank you for joining the conversation and thank you for continuing to seek to um, uh, walk and uh, live more like Jesus every day, everywhere we go. Have a blessed day. Cheers.